internet, it's Brent with PDS again. We're gonna do a little product review installation on one of the new Radon System Alarms. This one is the plug-in version from RadonSystemAlarms.com. So first we're gonna unbox it and then we're gonna install it on the system that we have here in our warehouse. Uh, NRPP, the National Radon Proficiency Program, just recently passed laws in licensed states that now require an audible and visual alarm. So there's a lot of new ones hitting the market. This is the one from RadonSystemAlarms.com. So let's take it out of the box, put it in the pipe, See how it works. All right, we're going to do an unboxing of Radon Systems Alarms plug-in model. Uh, it's not going to be perfect unboxing because I already opened it, but I wanted to go through this because I really like the way they pack this. As a guy that packs things for a living, they included a lot of really nice stuff in the package. So, again, I already opened it up, um, but it starts with a thank you, which I think is a nice touch. This is a family-owned business to make these. Uh, in their garage in Florida, believe it or not, and they're really high quality. So you've got your warranty registration um, to make, so make sure you do uh, register for that warranty in case you have any issues. Then we've also got the installation instructions printed out here. We're going to go over the installation here in just a minute, so we'll get to those. This is one of my favorite pieces. So an owner's manual uh, where you can mark the lad of your house, where the suction point is, where the sump pit or the radon fan, you can mark everything. And it comes with everything for the NRPP license mitigator to put down their information, install date, uh, manometer reading, all that stuff. So, and the best part is it has a follow-up testing log, which uh, is something that a ton of homeowners forget, is that the EPA recommends testing every two years no matter what. It is the easiest way to maintain your radon system because if you're not testing, then you don't know if it really works or if it ever worked to begin with. And continuous radon monitors are not a replacement for this test because continuous radon monitors also don't last forever. So do a lab test every two years, preferably in the winter. If you're safe in January, you're safe in August, but not vice versa. So the cool part about this is you can roll it right up and it fits in this little clear holder on top. So we're gonna go over that again here in just a few minutes. And we have the alarm itself. Really nice looking unit. Um, you can tell they put a lot of effort into this. It's sturdy, it's quality. There's really high quality parts in here. So we're gonna put this on a pipe and see exactly how it works. And you've got the RSA meter, um, flow meter, manometer, so to speak. That's gonna go on the side. Also got the power cord. Uh, on the non-power cord version, there's a spot for a 9-volt battery. This is one of my favorite parts about these alarms, is that you don't need a specialty battery. You either have a cord, or you have a battery that you can get at any store, pretty much, in America. And then, piece de resistance, they also included a drill bit for this manometer tubing, which I thought was a nice touch. I probably didn't need to do that, but they did anyway. So, really cool. Let's go install this thing and see how it works. All right, so RadonSystemAlarms.com approached me. Uh, really like the fellows that were working there. It's a family-owned business like ours. They manufacture these with as many USA-made parts as possible in the garage in Florida. So I thought it was pretty cool. We're gonna pop it on, see how it works. Uh, and then you fine folks can put them on your systems at home and support a family-owned and operated company. Actually two at once when you get them from PDS. All right, so now we have the Radon System Alarm itself. Uh, so we have the plug-in version. The first step, according to the instructions, is to put the flow meter on. So here's what the flow meter looks like. It's got a zero to five calibration. First, you wanna back out this screw as far as possible. So you just turn it counterclockwise. You can actually see in here that there is a screw and you just take that all the way out till you meet resistance. Then you're gonna go on the side with the red check system light. You can see where it fits and you just slowly screw it on clockwise. It grabs, there we go, now it's grabbed. You turn it about three or four times to you encounter resistance, and then you wanna line up the bottom of the RSA flow meter with this opening here and itself. All right, so we got that. Now let's affix it to the pipe. All right, so now we're ready to fix this to the pipe. So we've already pre-drilled the 5 16ths hole with the drill bit that they were so nice to provide in the unboxing. So, there's an adhesive adhesion tape here on the back, and then we've got the manometer tubing for the RSA flow meter on top. This one goes to the alarm itself on the bottom. I'm gonna do that next. But the first thing to do is to take off the 
adhesive, adhesive tape, and you're going to want to feed this tube into the system. And it's a tight squeeze, so make sure you're not pushing into the alarm too much. There we go. And then we're going to want to make sure that we mount it plumb. Put it plumb to me. Press it there onto the pipe. We'll just hold it for a few seconds, and then we're going to connect our second hole. All right, now we got hole number two, um, about two to three inches below the pipe. We just eyeballed it. You just make sure, you just don't want to have a kink in the hose. That's the most important thing with any system alarm. There we go. All right, now we're connecting it to power. Now I spoke with Dane, the owner at RadonSystemsAlarms.com, and one thing he pointed out to me is that their cable is one of the longer ones out there. This is eight feet long. They use really high quality products. Um, so this outlet ostensibly could be eight feet away from the pipe, but we've got it much closer than that, lucky for us. Plug it in. You see we've got a system on indicator light, meaning that there is pressure within the system. If we turn off the fan, see what happens. All right, about 15 seconds after we turned off the fan, you can see it's functioning properly. Check system. There's no pressure in the system according to our YouTube. That's because we turned off the fan. It works. Would you look at that? American manufacturing. Love it. Easy. Mm -hmm.